Another beautiful day on the White River. The sun is shining. The guards are guarding. We're guards, Charles. Guards. We're guards. The birds are temporarily hidden from public access, but even that has a workaround. <sighs> yep, I don't think anything could ruin this day. Huh? Crap. Babe! We're out of leaves! Babe? Babe? Uh, oh. Um, well, this is awkward. Is it that day already? Well, since you're here, and I'm glad you are, have I ever told you about my first time in Whiterun? I had just graduated from the college and was on the hunt for employment. I had no coin. Luckily, I found boarding at the Battleborn farm. The least I could do was spruce up the place. Oblivion of a storm out there. I'll take care of that later. Whoa. Invisibility spells, Whoa. not for the Whoa. novice. <sighs> Shoes on the other foot. Mm, rustic. And nothing starts your day better than a properly baked sweet roll. Something to grab as you're on the move. Clan Battleborn. You can trace their lineage all the way back to Isgrimor himself. Great warriors. Terrible decorators. Nice folk, though. If you're an Imperial. Oh, well. That beautiful Skyrim weather. That's better. It was time to make my way to the city. The guard patrols this road so hard they've stomped it into the ground. The farmsteads of Whiterun. The main supply of food for the entire city. Cows for their milk and meat. Gwendolyn tending leeks until they're ready for market. And it looks like she could use a hand. Don't mind me, just cleaning up the thieves in the work area. And perhaps... Oh. Yeah, perhaps now they'll be able to feed a few more mouths and an expansion, as well as ones to Nazim's Chill Furrow Farm wouldn't hurt either. After all... Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, of course you don't. Yep, Whiterun is full of characters. The White River. The longest and largest river in all of Skyrim. It stretches across nearly half the province, originating up the road at Lake Illinalta, just past Riverwood. The bridges to the main road. I didn't learn that at Winterhold. The river is home to salmon, a Bessian longfin, and Cyrodiilic spittletail, and all kinds of water plants. At least it damn well should be. Don't get caught in the rapids, though. You wouldn't be the first to be taken by them. The mud crab will be all too happy to accommodate your corpse. Whiterun sits at the base of the throat of the world. At the top of the mountain, High Hrothgar, the Greybeard, waiting for the legendary Dragonborn's arrival. But that story is for another time. With so many residents, and being described as the Imperial City of Skyrim, it's inevitable that new homes would be constructed. One of those homes, sitting opposite of Haunting Brew Meadery. Companion friendly, with custom storage, and plenty of workspace. Hala. Cook your stews by the fire, or put together an alchemical collection that would make Arcadia blush. At the back of the home, a double bed in a room of your own, complete with a shrine of Kinnereth and sigil shield of Whiterun. A second floor den and a first floor kitchen with enough tankards for friends to drink their mead. Speaking of mead, Honning Brew Meadery. How could they expect to make a honey brew that competes with the Blackbriars without any bees? Hey, friend, you've never had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. I mentioned that I didn't learn my bridge trick at Winterhold. Well, about that. A new hand touches the beacon. I will make you the instrument of my life. Don't hold it against me. It was all good intentions, I swear. Meridia always has to lift you up into the divine damn sky. Pelagia Farm, the biggest producer for White Run there is. They even have a stall at the market. Just beyond the farm, a new home has made its way to the housing market. If Hala didn't do it for you, perhaps something a bit more open. 
a cottage for the adventurer with a passion for home life. For the mage, the collector, it even has space for a companion to call home. And if you're a devout follower, there's space for that too. If the loft doesn't meet your storage needs, the basement. However, it is not everything that it seems. A hidden cavity for your unsanctified wizardry. But let's keep those skeletons in the closet for now. Back to the main road. Provincial Courier Service, home base for that unlikely courier. We'll get back to him shortly. Past the farms, beyond the city outskirts, the tundra, an expanse as far as the eye can see, touching nearly all of the other holds of Skyrim. Have you ever imagined what it would look like with a vast ocean of trees? One can dream, I suppose. Hey, now you look prepared. The new market, because not everyone gets into Whiterun, especially when there are dragons about. And if you ever need a ride. I can take you to another hold capital. And there's one thing that Whiterun is never light on. Guards, guards, guards. Yeah, those guys. Defenses, yes. Stable owner's home. I own them, you see. Yes, of course. Since there's an owner, the stables. Got the fleetest steeds in all of Skyrim. He sure does. I ever tell you about the time I met this girl? Boy, she was something else. I was a young man then, after all. It's you. I mean, what? No, I've never seen you before. I have no idea who you are. It's not like I've been stalking you or babe, anything. They're out of leaves! Oh, no. Thanks, babe! White Run City, the center of Skyrim, founded by Jeek of the River, where King Olaf the One Eye subdued the great dragon Numenex. Home to the companions! And where I found my first bit of employment. You guys okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, those were the days. Time is a funny thing. Even the Elder Scrolls can't bring us back far enough. Anyways, I have some important business to tend to. Hey, there were some tucked away in the corner. <laughs> How about that? Remember, folks, my door is always open. Even the one to the outhouse. Just knock before you enter. You go have your own adventure and come back and tell me all about it.